right, guys, we got another guy down from Dayton to entertain you tonight. Put those hands together for Mark Perkins. What's up, Louisville? How we doing tonight, guys? Good, good. Good, man. It's great to be here, man. I got to say, I'm a big fan of the state of Kentucky. For real. I'm thinking about moving here. Yeah, you guys have the best cigarette and wheelchair conventions. <laughs> but uh, apparently you just call them casinos. <laughs> the more you know. And speaking of Kentucky, last time I was here, they told me that I looked like Jack Harlow if instead of rapping, he was into like sheet metal. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I really am glad to be here though. Uh, yesterday I was babysitting my uh, nephew. He's like seven, maybe eight years old, you know? And look, I'm not gonna say that I hate kids. Because hate is not a strong enough word. <laughs> like I am pretty much the opposite of a pedophile. <laughs> And look, I'm not saying that I won't touch your kids. <laughs> I just like to let that one get weird for a second. <laughs> what I'm saying is if I do touch your kids, it'll be like a swift elbow, you know? I mean, like a kidney shot. <laughs> But uh, my nephew, he's one of those kids who can't handle chocolate in his system, you know? So like when I was watching him, I only gave him one little square of my chocolate bar, just a little square. And uh, this kid immediately started freaking out, you know? Like he was bouncing off the walls, he was trying to get naked. At one point he started telling me about Bitcoin. <laughs> and that's where I drew the line, all right? I snatched him up and I was like, hey man, are you serious right now? You know that chocolate? That was only 25 milligrams of indica, you little pussy. Let's get it together, man. Act like we've been here before, you know? Now, like, honestly, it goes without saying that his mother, she was not happy when she found out that her son was a lightweight, okay? It's not the best mom, but... That's fun, man. Uh, let, let me ask you guys a question, though. Have you ever been told something and uh, you didn't know whether to take it as a compliment or an insult? <laughs> yeah, like the other day, I was told that I looked like a human version of a Miller Lite. <laughs> Not a Miller High Life, by the way. A Miller Lite. <laughs> I gotta say, if that was an insult, I'm almost positive they were calling me a poor alcoholic. <laughs> and if that was a compliment, then my mom gives out really weird compliments. <laughs> uh, I was also told that I looked like a white trash Jonas brother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's the one who told me right there. <laughs> But I gotta say, that one was a little surprising, hearing that come from an Uber driver. <laughs> Mainly because, to this day, I still have never been inside of an Uber. <laughs> I was walking. <laughs> this woman went out of her way to tell me this. <laughs> like, let me paint the picture for you guys real quick. Um, gasoline is $700 a gallon. And this woman decided she was going to spin the block twice <laughs> just to let me know that I look like my name should be Billy Ray Jonas. <laughs> you know, that means that she saw me the first time and she was like, oh, no. <laughs> he definitely needs to hear this one. <laughs> And like, honestly, I didn't, you know? Like, I know what I look like, all right? I know that I look like a hipster who also has a Republican father. <laughs> I 
I gotta tell you guys, my dad, he is not a right wing guy, all right? But neither is he a left wing guy, all right? You know, he is actually legally not allowed to vote. <laughs> okay? And that's what I'm talking Louisville. Thanks a lot, guys.